has a hidden truth that's about to be exposed to you. It's been a lot of different types of energy rushing everywhere. This energy I'm feeling right now is a, it's a set of people that aren't angry or flustered, right? Since that nothing's gone bad, but you just don't feel like this holiday season has been um, special. But you feel like there is still time for things to turn around. Of course there is, because this is a stressful time of the time. This is a stressful time of the year, yes, but also a lot of good can come from it as well. Okay. But there's something that's he weighing heavy on your heart. It could be love, it could be something else. I don't know yet. We will see. Cards. All I do know is that they kept telling me over and over again for the uh, for the um, for this collective that there was a hidden truth that I needed to talk to you about. So, you know what? That's our cards. And let's see what we got. Okay, so this is what's going on here. We have the, the, the dynamic of what I need to talk to you about. We have the other person, what's going on with them, and then we have what's going on with you. For the rest of just going into 2023, figuring out what you're gonna do with this dynamic. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune up hand. So when you met this person, you're like, this is solid, this is a goal, this is a good opportunity. I'm vibing with this person. Then we have this Nine of Wands. In reverse, so not giving up, even if you're about to throw away the towel. There's a lot, okay? There's a lot, like, one, one ending is happening as we speak right now, commencing as we speak right now, to bring in a whole new beginning. Spirit doesn't want you to give up on this, no matter how annoying this is, no matter how annoying this situation is. Spirit doesn't want you to give up on them. You, you've, you've switched so much. You, you were a person that used to give too much to too many people and you started dropping people like left, right, center. And this is something they don't want you to do that with. They know how annoying it is. They know how you, uh, you are confused. You do not have clarity of what's going on with this person, but they don't want you to give up on them. Not this one. So this is the other person. We have the seven of coins. Time to move on. Queen of swords up hand. Living through the loss. Um, being a keen mind, seven of wands in reverse, so slowing down, time to rethink. The emperor in reverse, so not leading through your divine masculine, your willpower, go get her attitude. But then the six of coins, so being shown appreciation. All right, so this person, um, even though you're not in contact, they've actually closed down a lot of walls and a lot of. They've closed down a lot of walls with... It's really weird they're making me say it that way. They've closed a lot of bridges with others and put up walls. This has been very hard for them to do. They, this is a person, they've done this like... like I'm, I'm hearing like 10 times the charm with this type of person. Like they've put these walls up before and they've allowed people to bring them down. Yeah, you've done this too. But this time they're finally sticking to themselves. They're realizing it's better to be alone they have a bunch of fake people around them where they have to pretend to be something they're not. But that's slowing down, time to rethink. That's what they're doing right now. Then They're not throwing away the towel with you too. They haven't been able to stop thinking about you, to be quite frank. And they feel like not reaching out to you is it's all they can do right now because they're, they're, they're not one, they're not connected with the divine masculine within themselves. Enough to do it for somebody else. They're really figuring out how to be the own person that can just be like, no, nah, this is my boundary, this is my line, I'm not crossing. And they're figuring out exactly that you are a person that they can go ahead and give this balance give and take to. They're figuring out that you are a person that will appreciate them. They appreciate all the growth you've done from the experience of meeting each other. They've been watching you, they have. Behind the scenes, they've been watching you. This person hasn't given up on you guys. Like, do I sense you're gonna get communication before Christmas? No, not with this person. But there's a volcano effect 
There's a volcano effect with this person, meaning everything's happening underneath and it's about to all explode in 23, something about January for this person. I know, I know how annoying it is and you're ready to move on. You're ready to just, whoever the person is that's gonna match your energy, right? More than match, upgrade with you. Everybody you've shed has been correct. There's a reason why this person though, they haven't been able to let you. So this is you, okay? So we have the page of uh, page of swords up hand. So being persistent, seeking knowledge. Page of cups in reverse, not compelled to go forward. That queen of swords in reverse. So emotional hardness. Nine of wands. Uh, that means the resilience to not give up. Six of swords. Mental growth, changing your perspective, evolving. And strength up hand. Uh, that's, you know, not giving up on what you know to be your truth. Resilience to always see the solution. Not get stuck on harping on the problem. So my friend, you're going through a lot. You're going, th you, you, you're going through it. <laughs> you know that your instincts tell you that you've always been right about this person. But because, this four, because of all of your fours have not been acknowledged, because you're waiting for an answer, you're starting to feel emotionally hard to this situation. You're thinking that if this person really cared about you or if you weren't tripping, some form of forward movement contact would have been made by now. But there's something in you that's like uh, you have the resilience not to give up on this. There's something in you from the last time you saw that person, the way they looked at you. All the energy they sent you was, please don't give up on me. No matter what else has been going on. That six of swords, the mental growth, the changing, the perspective, the evolving. This whole situation has done that for you, hasn't it? It's challenged you. So it's, it's challenged every part of you, not only um, like your nurture, not only your patience, but your go-getter attitude, your, your seeking of knowledge, your, your trust of your own intuition. This whole process has done this for you and you if you wouldn't have gone through this process with this person that wouldn't have happened you have the strength to see the bigger picture you remember who you are you remember the abilities you have you're what i like to call somebody who's about like five miles ahead of everybody because of your spiritually inclined you see things you feel things and you can and you can put the dots together You have to understand that other people will take time for them to process the things that you can process very fast. You were never wrong about this person, this feeling that you've had since the beginning. It's correct. This person's helped you be clear as day now to see who are the ones that are deserving to be in your life. This person just experiencing their energy has made you be able to throw out the ones that aren't and gain new friends and there's a lot that came from this separation, a whole bunch that came from this separation that couldn't have happened if you two never separated to begin with. So what we're gonna do with these oracles to tie everything in together. Nice, Cleopatra. So Cleopatra is resonating. Interesting. Okay. You didn't see my tears. You broke my heart. You inspire me. I compare others to you. I don't know what comes next. I don't know what you want. I save your texts and messages. And these three were both these three were all in reverse, and I always take hidden truth cards in reverse as this is about to not be a hidden truth. It's gonna be one of the first things they say to you. So that I don't know what comes next. You inspire me and I saved your texts and messages. This person, one of the first things they're, they're gonna express to you is that just like we said, how they have inspired you to do all these changes, all these movements, all this perspective and, and growth, you've done the same for them. They're gonna say they don't know what comes next, but they can't not speak to you anymore. They don't, they don't know what's uh, gonna be waiting on the other door, but they know they wanna walk through that door with you. 
and they go they go over your text messages and your and your messages a lot and they rethink about the way they've spoken to you the way you spoke to them with this you broke my heart sideways what i take is this is mutual you both feel like each other have broke each other's hearts in, in certain ways you've done things to upset this person without realizing it they've done things to you to upset you without realizing it you both feel this tug of war still with each other's hearts I don't know what you want. I compare others to you and you didn't see my tears. This is this is the confirmation for me that you have no idea how much you have impacted this person's life. The reason they were able to shed a lot of people and see with that seven of coins in reverse, who is it time to move on from financial ties, emotional ties, everything. Because people started comparing your actions, started seeing like crap. This This person hasn't even like not like the person that they were comparing you to that person hasn't even been giving them the bare minimum whether you didn't see my tears this person's a really strong exterior very very strong exterior but inside is is, is warm and needs somebody to hold them and that's beautiful and you're supposed to have that and i don't know what you want so somehow this person they still don't completely know if you want them anymore they don't know if you've given up on this connection. And the, and that's the thing with the, the jump, like you've done the jump for them in the past. Spirit's giving them the strength to do this jump with you. And it's just, you're just going to have to be patient. You are. There are a lot of people you've left in the past. Um, and there's a reason why this person has been one that it's been like for you. Like if they come back, I will answer. I will work through things with them. This person hasn't seen your tears. You haven't seen their tears. But this Cleopatra is really, really resonating. And a lot of times when I pull this card, I just think of Pandora's box. So almost like there's just so much that's like a definitely like the throw up the volcano effect. Like this person in 23 is going to, you and this person are going to have contact in 23. I don't sense before then. So if you're wanting some communication with this specific person, um, I would say don't make a definitiveness about them contacting you by Christmas or whatever. If they're going to do it, they're going to do it. When it comes to manifestation, guys, and we're talking about like speaking like jobs and money and experiences and things into existence, you can set dates and times. This will happen by yada, yada, yada. I will have this much money in my bank account by this time next year, yada, yada, yada. When it comes to people, don't do that. That's altering people's freedom of will. What I state and what I say is that when this Pandora's box is ready to be open for me, when this person's spirit team and my spirit team have both guided us all together to come in, is when you come in with that person. So don't set, don't just, don't set any expectations when it comes to seeing this person, how you're going to see, you're going to go out and, and thinking about, oh, maybe I'll see them at this place or posting something uh, to want for this person to see it or sending out in information or energy of that you don't know what you want. If this is somebody you want, it doesn't matter what anybody fucking thinks. If this is somebody you want, they're going to be worth the wait for you because you compare others to them too. This is a person that there's never any physical violence. I sense that you two were never even in a relationship together. This is somebody that was like you experienced each other, but never had full fruition. This is somebody you haven't talked to in a while. I wish there was more I could tell you right now about this, but they're blanking me at this point. This is the point where they're blanking me off when it comes to this connection because they need you to have the strength to just know that that's enough, that you're right, that this connection is worth continuing on, that the whole point of this is so that you can learn how to be your own healthy partner 
The whole point of these types of relationships is to grow and build together. And you can't do that if you haven't hit a certain level, a certain checkpoint within your own self-love. So basically, if you guys don't hit those checkpoints, like if you've hit a checkpoint and they haven't, Spirit still has to send you guys separate ways until you both hit those checkpoints. What I'm sensing right now is that you've hit the checkpoint when it comes to self-love. You've, uh, you've been like, I've shed my tears. I'm done comparing others to you. I know what I want, even if I don't know what you want. And if you keep that energy, that's going to pull them in faster. Because instead of sending out to the universe, I don't know if I want you or I don't want you anymore. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, they broke your heart. Guess what? The ones that love us do. Everybody that means something to you can break your heart. You looked over at this person's messages too, and you don't do that. You do, you're somebody that will like delete things and stuff like that. You're not knowing what's coming next either. And this person's still inspiring you no matter how mad you are, no matter how sad you are, no matter how much you can or can't sleep. Somehow, when this person comes into your mind, things become clear. Somehow, when this person comes into your mind, you got some power to go on again. All I can say to you is that this person does adore you. They are coming through. You just have to stay strong. The other people you've left, all of the people you were in real relationships with, 1,000% committed relationship with, leave those ones in the past. Okay? All the people that were your friends that were taking advantage of you, that haven't checked up on you, haven't tried to see what's going on with you, leave those people in the past. But this connection is different. Alrighty, uh, that's what I got for you. Let's see what we got coming.